How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of Mystery Beers. Mystery Beer number three, mind you. Uh, courtesy of my boy, Max. Yeah, sent off a bunch of Mystery Beers, and uh, this be one of them. They were paired up with the guys from NerdSense and Kyle from Hype Beer Reviews. Um, we haven't settled on which Mystery Beers we're going to do together, um, but I'm cracking what I want. So there we go. I just know we're doing eight together for definitely. Probably do about four of them. We were each sent uh, eight mystery beers. And um, I'm probably, I'm going to do four by myself. And I'll do four as collab reviews to see how that goes. So anyway, yeah. I mean, what is that? Shores beer? Smoked Rosh beer? I don't think it's barley wine. Um, just it, it, the clarity on the bottom of this. It just, I could see through it enough to where I don't think it's a barley wine. I don't think it's a porter, even though I can skew, see porter skewing a little bit this kind of darker brown. So we're talking about dark Czech lager, talking about Schwarz beer, you're talking about a Bach, something along those lines. That's what I'm guessing so far. So anyway, see him get a nose in a sucker. Okay. Well, it's neither of those. This be a winter warmer. That's what we have going on here. There's like um, there's like a winter spices, gingerbready vibes in here. A little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of clove. It's like um, it's like old fezzy weggy kind of, um, and it's in the way it kind of comes off. So it's definitely some kind of seasonal winter warmer kind of Christmassy beer, American base, not a Belgian base. I don't believe because sometimes a lot of winter warmers end up being like a spiced kind of Belgian quad or even a Belgian dark or a Belgian um, double. Um, this I think is just a base kind of winter warmer um, with a bunch of Christmassy spices. Allspice, clove, hopefully not allspice, actually, because I think I'm allergic to allspice. So I'm going to hope there's no allspice in it. Like, I'm poopily allergic to allspice. Um, so I'm going to go clove, um, cinnamon, graham cracker, that kind of thing going on. Let's dive in. No allspice, please. Cheers. I really hope this doesn't have all space in it. That shit fucks me up, man. It makes me hurt so bad. I'll find out eventually. It's not going to kill me. It just makes this like crazy prickly thing going on in my chest. Um, yeah, some of these, some of these uh, gingerbread cookie uh, winter warmer kind of thing. I'm starting to lean a little bit more heavily into kind of a confectionery ginger thing. So vanilla, ginger, um, uh, cinnamon, clove, ale. 6% and change, maybe, maybe seven. Um, done and done. Very much Fezziwig vibes here, but it, it seems like there's a little bit more kind of gingerbread characteristic to this. And I don't think, well, no, they do Fezziwig in cans now. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is fun. This is a Christmas beer through and through. And it's what, you know, most people want to sit around and kind of drink during Christmas time. If you're a beer person, you're just like, screw the eggnog. Let's go for these winter warmers. And that'd be that. So yeah, well, let's just wrap it up. 6.8% uh, uh, winter warmer. Done and done. It is a bock. It is a cock bock. Um, cock bock. Um, okay. It is a bock brewed with chicken. Chicken? Chicken. I didn't get chicken on this. Uh, nutmeg, clove, and raisins. Okay, listen. I said clove. I didn't say nutmeg. I said winter spices. Raisins, fine. Whatever. Um, I'm absolutely blown away that there's no cinnamon in this. 6.9%, so it was pretty much spot on for the actual ABV. And as far as the beer goes, it's actually a collaboration between Alvarium Brewing and... Um, Little House Brewing Company. Now I'm gonna read you a little story time they have in here before we dive a little bit deeper, but as you can see, that's like five point font, so I'm gonna to have to concentrate on this one. I'm probably gonna still screw it up. Anyway, it says this holiday season from a Twisted Minds Valvarium and Little House. Um, oh, I've, I've had Little House stuff before, I believe. Anyway, uh, we bring you this modern interpretation of a colonial classic, Cock Ale. Haven't heard of this 17th century delight? Bah, 
and you call yourself an expert in all things beer. Look it up and salivate the thought of, of par parboiled rooster stuffed full of spices floating in a fermentation vessel. We figured that ales um, have all had foul fun for centuries now, so it's time for another lager revolution. What better beverage to stuff full of cock than a big, bold bock? Uh, six happy chickens were mashed to the precise, uh, to be precise, and then this treat was lagered on raisin of the sun nutmeg and clove and for you historical purists out there who cry foul over the hot side chicken additions we had uh we added a double dry cock addition to the fermenter as well uh don't hesitate snag this feast in a glass each can is an opportunity for the whole family to get cock bocked uh cock bock the only bock cock full of cock Love Little House and Alvarium. I recommend the t listening to Sucking on My Tendies by Hot Dad. Uh, yeah, this is just... This is the kind of beer... Listen, I, I've had the weirdest shit on the hot side before, man. I've had hot dog beer. You know, I, that brewers make hot dogs. And um, and, uh, and the mash ton. I've had all kinds of stuff. And uh, I've never had chicken. I've had chicken parts or chicken sandwiches or something. It's like a fucking... You think I don't know? I'm Napoleon or some dumb, some crazy shit like that. But um, chicken, no. So yeah, I did not get chicken on this beer. Um, it is a bock with a bunch of winter spices. I said a winter warmer with a bunch of winter spices. I'm really blown away by that. There's no cinnamon in here. Nutmeg is probably what I'm picking up. In combination with a sweetness from the raisins. That's my kind of def reasoning why I didn't pick that up in general. Not a bad beer by any stretch of imagination. I am absolutely 1 billion percent happy there's no allspice in here. Otherwise, I would be doubling over in pain in about an hour. Uh, so happy camper here. Sigh of relief. But a fun beer. A f Let's put it this way. If. If. Kyle and or. <laughs> Mike or Sean from NerdSense does this beer. And they call out that they get chicken on this. I'll do something crazy. I don't even know. I got to think of the thing because it's never going to happen. Um, because you'd never get that, obviously. But it's it's a winter warmer, essentially. It's a Bach to winter warmer. Um, like you even said at the beginning, kind of had Bach look to it. But uh, with those spices in there, it really rang like a, a, a festive Christmas beer for me. And that's kind of what it is. So let's talk about it. It's one of the better chicken beers I've had as late. Number one there. Uh, one of the better kind of wintery spiced ales. Cause, or lager or ale uh, that I've had as late. It's fine. It's tasty. It's in the conversation. It's not towards the top, but I dig it. It's fun. And there's chickens. Um, valued availability, no idea. Max, let me know what's what and leave you with, if you like what we like this beer, if you like chickens, in box, in winter warmers, and you want them all together, you will like this. <sighs> so there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massif if you want to check me out doing the whole podcast thing. thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little chicken in your beer right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.